Hey everyone, it's Shanna, 5M Family Homestead. I'm back again with a super, super cool pool accessory video. We're gonna review a product for you guys, and I am so excited about it. When I got it in the mail, I was literally like a kid on Christmas morning, and I'm 43, but I can be excited about it. So, the company reached out to us, asked if we wanted to collaborate with them again. Um, they have sent us um, products in the past, and we've done reviews for them, and I will tell you I love this company. I really do, I love their product. I think their products are solid. So they sent it to us, asked if we wanted to review their new 2023 robotic vacuum. You guys know um, I strongly suggest um, a good robotic vacuum when you're cleaning an above ground pool. I cannot speak to an in ground pool because I don't have an in ground pool. I have a above ground pool. So when they sent it to us and I opened the box, I was shocked. So let me show you, you're like, what is it? Okay. It is the Apier Cordless Robotic Pool Vacuum, and this is the Apier Seagull Pro. Y'all, this thing is, like, I can't even think of what, how to explain it to you. The coolest thing I've ever seen, honestly. I was shocked when they sent it. I didn't know what they were sending. They just asked if we wanted to review one of their products, and I was like, yeah, sure. And when I opened it, I was, I was simply amazed. You guys know, I have, or you may not know, but I have um, other Apure products that we have had over the last couple years. We have a cordless handheld um, battery powered vacuum, and we also have one of their um, just regular robotic vacuums that I've had for two years. It's my go-to vacuum. I absolutely love this vacuum. I stored it this last summer, or winter, pulled it out this summer, and it still works like a champ. Love it. So when they reached out to us, I was like, yeah, sure. I love the company, I love working with them. So they sent us this, and this is what we're gonna review today. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know what it's gonna be like, but right now I can tell you, if it's anything like their other products, I will be happy. So, we're gonna unbox this bad boy. I'm going to have to um, charge it. I guarantee it's probably gonna take six to seven hours to charge. And then we're gonna put it in the pool. The boys will go in the pool, like all my other videos, and they'll give you a shot of it working with the GoPro, and then that way you kinda get a hands-on feel of what the vacuum is doing. Um, what else was I going to say? So first, we're gonna charge it. I'm gonna take it out of the box, I'm gonna charge it, and then um, we'll put it in the pool. Now, I do know one of the coolest features about this, and this is a big thing when you have an above ground pool, is it climbs the walls. How effectively an above a ground pool, I don't know yet, but we're gonna find out. Um, the walls tend to be gross um, sometimes. Um, even though you sweep them and everything, just the type of material that the liner is made of, it just kind of collects the dirt and the dust and all of that kind of stuff. So the fact that it climbs the walls is so glorious to me. All right, unboxing. We're gonna unbox it, charge it. A couple hours from now, we're gonna get it in the pool. Okay, so this beauty is out of the box. This thing is heavy, guys. Super, super heavy. So it's charging. The charging port is right here. Um, it's super important that you make sure this little cap does not come off. That actually covers the, covers the battery pack when it's in the water. So just make sure you don't lose that. Look at the size of this. I mean, this is my hand, the battery pack. So you can get that for reference. The little red lights on, that means it's charging. I mean, that's for most of pull equipment. When it turns green, it will be ready. They boxed it in this really nice little, it's plastic, cardboard. It's super, super nice. And then it comes with a hook and then it comes with a battery pack. I don't have the hook in here. I'm not gonna use the hook. They actually, I wish, this, this machine is so heavy. I don't know even know. The hook is meant to put on the end of your extension pole and then hook the machine out of the water. I, I, that will be my only con for right now is there's no way that this that hook is going to pick this machine up. No way. So they actually, for my other vacuum, and I'll show it to you guys when we go outside, they have a string attached to it with like this little bobber that they pull it out of. I wish they did the same for this, but they didn't, and it's okay. I will make do with it. Um, all right, so it's charging. I want to show you a couple features. These are rubber. The um, <laughs> What is it called? The brushes are rubber. 
which is really nice because oftentimes when you put these type of vacuums down, it will um, bend the bristles. So here's the handle. The cool thing about this is the filter. Now the filter, look at this guys. Ah, you just take it out like that. Just like that. Amazing, right? And then it just slides right back in there. Make sure that door is shut. And that's it for right now that I can show you guys because, again, it's charging. So we'll come back in a little bit and um, put it in the pool. Okay, let me also preface this. You guys are going to go Google this right now, I'm sure. And you're going to look it up and you're going to see it's a $900 vacuum. That is not lost on me how expensive this vacuum is. So that's why I'm extremely grateful and humble that they even sent it to me. Because, let's be honest, a $900 vacuum in today's world is outrageous. And it is expensive and not a lot of people can afford it. I can promise you I would not own that vacuum if these people were not kind enough to send it to me. It's not lost on me whatsoever um, of how expensive the machine is. However, sometimes, especially for those of us that have don't have in-ground pools and we have above-ground pools, and the maintenance on them a lot of us are doing it ourselves we don't have a pool company or anything like that i know i don't i've never had a pool company come out and looked at my pool i've done it all on my own by trial and error um sometimes having good equipment makes all the difference now do you need a 900 hundred dollar vacuum for an above ground pool i don't know we're gonna find out um so i just wanted to preface that like i am very aware that this is a very expensive vacuum and I want to give the most honest review I can about it. So the only con that I've come up with is how to get the, the vacuum out of the pool. Um, here in a little bit, we'll put it in the pool and I'll see if there's any other cons. I doubt it because their products are so amazing. Now, some of you don't like Apier. You've used them in the past. Understood. There are some companies that people love that I don't care for. But we're going to give this a whirl. We're going to give it a try. So let, let her charge for a little bit. i got to give her a name. You guys give her a name for me. You know, because people name their pool vacuums. Dolly, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. We'll talk about that. Anyways, we're going to let her charge. And then we're going to see what she can do. See you in a minute. Okay, it's been about six hours. And the machine is fully charged. How do I know that? This little light is green right here. Now, the cool thing is... And I think I showed you guys later. This earlier, this was blue. It's now green. If you look in the dish in the directions, let's get it to focus. If you look in the directions, it shows that if the indicator is green, then your battery is more than 90%. If it's blue, it's at 50 to 89%. Yellow is 10 to 49%, and red is less than 9%. So that's kind of cool. So when that turns green, it's fully charged. Now on the buttons, there's different, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Different operating of how the, the machine actually operates in the pool that you can choose from. And so this one is going to be the floor and the wall cleaning. So you clockwise, the floor and the wall cleaning. This is going to do the floor and then it's going to also do the wall. And it's going to, um, there's a certain, you can see right here, it has, it shows you the certain pattern that it's going to use. Um, so if you're wanting the floor and the wall, this is the one that you're going to use. This one right here. This one right here is just the floor cleaning. And it's going to move along the floor in an S-shape route. Um, so this is just the floor. Um, you would turn it to this one. This one right here is going to be the wall cleaning mode. It's going to go along the walls in an N-shaped route. Um, so floors only, walls only, both. Um, and you can see on there it says auto floor wall in case there was any question. Now, you're going to wait until you get to your pool before you turn this on. I've learned that in the past. You don't want to turn it on until you're ready to put it in the in the pool because it's meant to have water in it when it's running. Um, so that's what we're going to go do. Now, my only, only worry is I have a round pool. It's showing that it seems to do this in a rectangular pool. So I don't know what that's going to look like. But I'm going to put it on the auto mode and it's going to do the floor and the wall and we're going to see what it does. So let's take this bad boy out to the pool and let's see... Um, what she can do. 
Again, make sure you cover the charging port back. Well, you guys will have not a camera in your hand, so make sure you cover that charging port back with that silicone plug. That way water doesn't get into the battery or the charging port. Okay, we're gonna take it outside now. Reed came and took it from me. This thing's a tank. <laughs> it's super heavy. It's like a Roomba for your pool. It is a very good. We're we're thinking about naming it. What? What do you Roscoe think her name? The Roomba. All right, so set it down. Ben. Big Ben's a good. Big Bertha maybe. Can okay. I this off? Yeah. All right, like I said, you're not gonna want to turn it on. I'm gonna have Reach video me while I put it in the water. Um, so I don't drop the camera. Look, it's gonna spoil it like a car. Okay, so the little sticker is what showed the auto and the floor, and I said that you would be able to tell, but you can't tell because the sticker came off. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it. Okay, so this is gonna be the floor and the walls. Wait, how does it get the walls? Look, it's got like little things to push it down. Uh oh. Now, I did read in the instructions that it will climb. <gasps> Whoa. It climbs the walls after it's done climb uh, after it's done cleaning the floor. So, after it's done cleaning the floor, then it will go to the walls. It's and good. I see um goggles in there. It said it can take up to 30 seconds for it to start moving, so don't panic. Whoa. Do you want to grab the goggles? Well, when you get in there, you can. Why is it pushing that much water up? That's impressive. Oh, uh, it went up the ladder. Okay. Put it All in reverse, right. Terry. Put in reverse, Terry. That's funny. So what you doing, Terry? <laughs> so All right. It pull, clean the surface too. It totally just turned itself, so it can get. There it goes. All right, Eason. Going in. He's going in. It's kind of just turning itself right now, so there it goes. Look. All right, we're gonna go oh, in I water now and see what it looks like. I should use my new swimsuit. I I can guarantee that's fifty. <laughs> so it is for sure climbing walls um, now, but I don't think I think it does the majority of the cleaning of the walls when it. Um, is done that's what the thing said it has some power you guys look at the water that's put, being pushed that's from the actual vacuum Ooh. so is it cold yeah <laughs> it's really cold uh, we, had, we had a storm last night so it's freezing. yes i don't know how long the run time is on this what time is it right now it's three uh, three fifteen we'll see how long this thing runs it doesn't say in the um instructions how long it is but all right, I'm now really gonna show you guys some footage of it being under the water with Easton. We're sitting here and um, we were just talking about how the thing will turn itself around on its own and read. What did you say? I said for $900, this thing better take me to the store. <laughs> True story. So Easton's still, he's got the GoPro and he's filming it. That behind the scenes. Behind, under the scenes. <laughs> Under the scenes. It is big. It is definitely making the zigzag. 
but it looks like it's going all over the pool so far so we'll see it goes up the it goes like almost up the li liner kind of and it goes straight up and it gets all it sucks it all up so yeah it I does go up it see it right there uh -huh. all right so we're gonna come back here in a little bit and see how long it takes before it docks itself oh that was the other thing it will dock to the outside of the pool that way you have the ability to grab it like I was talking about. Oh, this is what I'm going to say. So this is my older apier vacuum. We got this two years ago. I love this thing. This is the this is the Goodwill version of that one. I'm kidding, guys. Um, so this one actually has the dial like you change it. They tell you to a uh, certain degree and that is if you have a round pool or rectangular. That pool does not or that vacuum does not have that option. But, I mean, it's so high tech. They have obviously a way of it knowing that it's a, what size pool it is. Whether, it, I don't know. Anyways. It also even has that string on it. Right. So this is the string. It's tied on and it has like a little bobber thing. I'm going to tie this somewhere on that one. Because I am not about to use, I wish I had the hook somewhere. I don't know where it's at. I don't keep them, so I probably threw it away. But like, um, I'm not going to try to use the hook to get that thing out of the water. One, because it is extremely heavy. Um, and two, I just like the string. So you just, it'll dock. I'll be able to grab the string. My husband is really good at tying knots. This will stay on top of the water and I just grab it and pull it up. And this string has been on there for two years. So, all right, we'll come back in a little bit. So I came outside to check on the vacuum. I'm thinking it's stuck. It was not stuck a second ago, though. It wasn't stuck. It's going back down. Huh. It literally climbs the walls. That's what I... I didn't think it was going to do it in this pool. I don't understand how that works. <laughs> Let's see if it goes and does it again. It's been running for two hours now, so. Okay, here it goes. It's going up the wall. It must just sit there for a minute and then it realizes it can't go down and then, or it does a backflip. But then it just, Not only humans have fun, vacuum have fun. Vacuums all the. Well, I cannot speak right now. Okay, so it climbed at the wall, it flipped over backwards, and then it literally sat there for five minutes and it never went back underwater, it never submerged. I ended up having to take and see it's coming back up now. I had to take my pole and push it back down into the water. Um, I'm not 100% sure what's going on with it. I have a feeling it's probably user error. Um, so I need to go back in and look at the directions and kind of figure out why it's doing that. Because it's coming back up the wall again. It's doing what it's supposed to do. And then it lets it back. So, so that, maybe that was just a fluke then. Cause it's working like it's supposed it to now. It was a little, little too high just then. That's probably it. Or it was a minute ago. Yeah, it did. It went too high and I think it got like off balance. I do see that the light is turning yellow and I remember seeing that that means it's almost like dead. So here it comes again. It's going to end up hitting that.
So I have my outlet right there and it's hitting it and it's trying to go over it. So that's... And it's gonna end up getting hung on that. Nope, it went off of it. Never mind, I was just kidding. All right, well, I think that one time was just a fluke. What do you think, Easton? Yeah, I think it's a fluke. Yeah. Because it, it went up and it went by the pool, the red pools, and it flipped over backwards. Yeah. Get stuck on them. So say it again. Don't leave, like leave anything in the pool because anything like taller than this because it'll get go over and it'll get stuck on it. Yep. I think that's for all vacuums. I like that it's doing this side, the where the edges of the pool like that because don't touch it because right there gets kind of grimy. So it's cool that it's doing that and it's going back down. It must have just been a fluke a second ago. Okay, the vacuum is done. It it ran for about three hours, maybe a little bit over that. So excellent charge. Now I've been reading reviews. And I've seen several, several, several people say that the charge is great the first couple times and then it goes down, down, down after that. So fingers crossed, this is the newer version. I think that was on the 2022 version. So hopefully they fix that. The flipping over backwards, I think it was a fluke um, because it didn't do it again. So um, I don't know, I Googled like, when it flips over, why did it not sink back down? I couldn't find anything. It never did it again. Um, it did what it was supposed to, going up the walls and go back down. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay, so we're gonna check the filter and see what it looked like. I went ahead and turned it off. Um, one thing that I did not note is these lights actually light up. These little emblems will light up so you know where you turn the dial to. But I went ahead and turned it off. You're going to open this up. You guys can see. Now, I spy something in here that doesn't belong in here. That's right. It soaked up a diving ring. Which, I mean, that's impressive, right? Okay. There's the filter. Yeah, I mean, I think it works, guys. So I give it like a five star review right now. Um, I think it is absolutely overkill for this pool, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, I am so thankful they sent it to us and I will use it and I will use it a lot, but I don't think it's necessary for these above ground pools like this. Maybe the larger ones, the rectangular ones, maybe it just, it's a lot. <laughs> so, um, couple things the hook thing stinks I don't know they need to figure something else out about that I don't know how they need to figure it out um, my kids it was kind of cool outside so they didn't want to get in the pool so I did have to use the hook um, you can see right there that's not the actual hook that came with it the one they sent a little bit more heavy-duty but I threw it away so I didn't have it anymore but so I put that hook on there it was almost impossible for me to pick it up it was full of water. It's already heavy to begin with. Um, and I don't even honestly know that that string is going to work either that I showed you guys earlier. So I need to talk to my husband and see what he can do. Because even my kids lifting it up out of the water when they get done swimming in and put it on the deck. I, I just, I don't know guys. We're going to have to think about that. Overall, five stars. Love it. Great. I'm going to actually take it inside. I'm going to charge it. And then we'll run it again tomorrow. It also did say to make sure that you wait and let this dry completely before you try to plug it in. So the Apier Seagull Pro, amazing, awesome. I'll leave a link in the description for it to Amazon. You're gonna have sticker shock, I know you will. Um, but Apier also makes other vacuums that are just as good as this one. Um, again, we have a 50, I always have to think about it, a 54 by nope 52 by 24 foot coleman above ground pool and i think it's overkill but i do like it that it climbs the walls because during the summer when it's 110 degrees outside the last thing i want to do is stand on this deck and sweep the outer edges of it don't want to do it and that did it for me and what i can see 
the walls look really good so anyways i'll leave a link in the description uh let me go let me guys <laughs> let me know what you guys think of the product and if you have any questions let me know thanks bye